let those catapults fly. I'm amazed the towers can withstand the punishment. The Bretons must have used orc crafters, and they built that place to last. But never fear, the Winterborn will have a fort to protect them for much longer. Chirag summoned the chiefs of Rothgar to besiege the Winterborn. One of our biggest problems are those Briarheart monstrosities. For every one we kill, two more take its place. I know there's a solution, but damn if it doesn't keep eluding us. We need to get inside the fort, find out where they're spawning those abominations. But the damn harpies! We can't walk five steps without becoming bird food! Siege Commander Dolph's working on a plan. I hope it's a good one, for all our sakes. For King this is the Winterborn's final stand. We destroy the Briarhearts while Chirag deals with their warlord, Iceheart. If we succeed, Chirag will have ended a threat that has plagued us for far too long. Maybe then I'll consider accepting him as our king. Surprising, isn't it? We're pretty sure they're all connected through the Hag Ravens, or whatever you call those ugly old hags. It wouldn't surprise me if the Briarhearts are also their creation. They're all vile, a lot of them. The Briarheart warriors are like the undead, only worse. They talk to each other, think on their own, behave just like any other soldier. But there's no way they're alive, not with half their chest hanging wide open. I guess you haven't experienced a Winterborn raid yet. You can actually see their foul hearts beating inside their open chests. Except that they aren't hearts at all. More like some sort of malignant growth. It's unsettling to see, to say the least. You can say that. It started when he claimed the title of king. Many chiefs aren't ready to bend their knee to Kirog. It's not the orc way. But Kirog knows how to conduct a battle. Look around! No clan could muster a force such as this. Kirog believes that the orcs need a united kingdom. We've banded together to defend our land, but beyond that, we'll see. The Winterborn have been ransacking Rothgar for years. At least Kirog has brought us together to try to put an end to that. Perhaps. But tradition sometimes is too high a wall to climb over. We're a proud and stubborn people. New ideas, they frighten us. And Chirag is full of new ideas. A new city, a new god, it's more than many of us can take. But if he wins the day... If you don't find the Alchemist and destroy those nests, we'll never break this siege! You heard him! For the King! Get down! Let me go! it! Looks like I lose General more soldiers Dulce that way! Use a hand. You brought the king here? Then welcome to our siege camp. Sorry you had to see those damn harpies at work. I'm not sure King Korog should be walking around out in the open, but I've got a barrel full of my own worries to deal with. If you want to become bird food, I'm not going to stop you. And after losing more soldiers to the harpies, I'm ready to accept any help I can get. Besides, anything is better than what the little wood elf was able to accomplish. Sent her in with a squad of orcs to deal with the harpy nests on the towers. Figured if the nests were on fire, the distraction would allow another squad to get in and put an end to the Briarhearts. But both groups have disappeared without a trace. A volunteer? I appreciate that kind of go-get-em attitude. If you do manage to find either of the missing squads, remind them that they have their orders. I expect them to complete their missions. The outcome of this siege depends on them. The main path is too well defended. You'll be a lamb led to the slaughter if you go that way. Our siege provides some cover, so you might be able to sneak around the left side of the fort. And the right side is clear, except for the harpies. I sent the wood elf and one squad to set fire to the harpy nests. The other squad is supposed to find the source of the briar hearts and put an end to that threat. But everything hinged on dealing with the harpies. We just can't get past the birds. 
My siege engineers can easily calibrate the trebuchets to launch direct strikes against the airy towers. They just need something to target. That's the first squad's mission. Mark the airy so we can knock it out of the sky. The Winterborn Zombies? Not much. Our alchemist, Alinan, has some experience dealing with the Reach. He thinks the Hag Ravens grow the hearts, planting them and harvesting them like grapes from a vine. A disgusting image, I know, but that's Alinan. That's what Alinan thinks. As long as he can put a stop to the foul things, I don't care how crazy his ideas sound. But he's with the second squad, somewhere on the other side of those walls. Without Alinan, things get much more complicated. smell of the siege camp. It smells warm. Of course. I sent an archer to shoot a message over the wall. Absolutely. We've been praying to me. Food is light. Usually the only... You don't know how things... Mind your tongue, Horker. I need the full support of the clans, which I don't have. your position. Let no Winterborn get past you. have come to our aid? We're honored. But we've been trapped in here for too long. We still have a mission to complete. Once again, we underestimated the Winterborn's capabilities. They caught scent of us as soon as we penetrated the walls. Harpies from above, Winterborn from all sides. We lost a lot of soldiers before we were able to take refuge in this tower. We need to get our archer into position to mark the Harpy Iries so that our catapults can target them and destroy them. We lost all of our archers. The Wood Elf's all we have left. I hope she's as good of a shot as she claims to be. Our squad split off right after we entered the fortress. They're protecting the Breton alchemist who's supposed to be able to put an end to the Briarheart threat. But it doesn't matter if they're dead or alive if we don't deal with the Harpies. If you can clear us a path to the towers, we can get the Elf into position so she can loose her signal arrows. Then the catapults can do their work. We need to hurry. We've lost too much time already. Perfectly good troops to the Winterborn.
keep up, Elf. Those harpies aren't going to but kill there themselves. Are so many stairs. No time for complaints either. We have a mission to complete. All right, all right, Pushy Orc. Just tell me when you want me to make the strike. Gusting winds, flying birds trying to eat us, fire everywhere. But that up there, that's a stationary target that needs an arrow in it. Just tell me when you want me to make the strike. secure. Good work, outsider. The wood elf is right behind me. I'm getting really tired of you orcs trying to leave me be- That's strange. Where did the soldier go? Now I know why Orsinian put out that call for help. Well, at least you're still here. Let me know when you want me to light the signal. Do me a favor and don't let any of those filthy harpies get too close. I'd hate to get carried off because I was busy concentrating on making this ridiculously easy strike. Speaking of which, let me know when you want me to loose my arrow. Two Ares destroyed, no problem. Now, let's find the Breton Alchemist. Since you are neither trying to rip out my heart nor consume my flesh, that you're from the King's Camp? I wish you had arrived earlier, before the other soldiers were killed. Well, we were supposed to wait until the nests were destroyed before heading inside to find the source of the Briar Hearts. But the Winterborn, they found us, overwhelmed the soldiers. I ran. I'm not proud of it, but I'm alive. That's what matters. Someone has to destroy the source of the Briar Hearts, and I've dealt with the Reach before. They're a rather unhealthy obsession of mine. I know their beliefs, the way they attune with nature. Those Briar Hearts, they're as natural as you and I. I have an inkling, but I need to get inside to confirm it. I need to see how they're applying their magic. That will lead me right to the source of the Briar Hearts. But you'll need to keep me alive. A lot of people are counting on me to succeed. There's nothing else we can do out here. Let's get inside. I was the only alchemist available. I wish I wasn't, but here I am. Besides, they needed someone who had some experience with the Reach. Of course, I never expected to end up in the middle of a siege. I've encountered Reach magic before, 
I'm almost certain that these briar hearts are grown in some fashion. Not unlike apples or grapes or juniper berries. From what I've been able to observe, when a winterborn warrior falls, the briar hearts are used to somehow bring them back from the dead. I'm pretty sure the Hagravens are involved in the process. If I'm right, and the briar hearts are grown, then I can destroy them. I'll know for certain once we get inside and look around. I want to make sure I mix the elixir correctly. Wouldn't want to inadvertently make them stronger, you understand? You found him. Come, come, follow me. If my suspicions are correct, we shouldn't have any trouble finding what I'm looking for. We're all going to die down here, aren't we? Keep your eyes open. We're looking for a plan. Something that doesn't appear quite natural. Come, come, follow me. If my suspicions are correct, we shouldn't have any trouble finding what I'm looking for. We're all going to die down here, aren't we? Keep your eyes open. We're looking for a plant or a root. Something that doesn't appear quite natural. Something odd, out of place. Something like this. Now there's something you don't see every day. A tree growing out of a corpse. I'd say this is what we're looking for. This sapling is but a root, however. A small part of a greater whole. Reach magic corrupts nature. It uses its innate properties to forge terrible powers. The Briarhearts require a larger plant to nurture them and make them grow. But this vile sapling is certainly connected. I can feel energy flowing through it. We need to destroy some of these saplings. Cut off their power to weaken the central tree. Once weakened, I can apply an alchemical solution to the central tree, wherever it grows, and hopefully destroy it, roots and all. Reach magic invades nature, the way a plague violates an infirm body. It changes its host, taking hold and letting its corruption grow stronger. It creates defenses, barriers that can't be easily overcome. It needs to be weakened before we lay siege. Find the saplings and burn as many as you can. That will weaken the corruption and make the defenses more fragile. Meanwhile, I'll concoct a potion using clippings from these little ones. Leave the elf here if you would. I could use the protection. Leave the sapling I found alone. I'll use it to prepare and test my elixir while you burn as many of the others as you can. By the time you return, I'll have developed a poison powerful enough to eat through the central tree's weakened defenses. No, not exactly. In some ways it's the same, but in many others it's completely different. The last time I dealt with Reach Magic, they were utilizing vines as big as you or I. This is an entirely new type of twisted magic, even for them. I'm completely confident of my abilities. That's just my nature. 
At its core, Reach Magic is all the same. They just employ different vessels for their perversions. Once you know how to kill one vile and twisted plant, you can kill them all. beloved tree. Your actions do not surprise me. Orcs and allies all believe they are stronger than the Reach. Foolish even to the end. I am preparing myself. Going through the ritual period of solitude before they place the Briarheart in my body. Once I take my place as a Briarheart warrior, I will kill you and rain death down upon the Orcs who befoul our land. Angry! I am burning with a righteous rage! Once I have joined the ranks of the Briarheart warriors, that anger will fuel my vengeance and bring justice to my people! What haven't the orcs done? They claim land that rightfully belongs to the Reach. They attack and kill my people. They eat food that should be eaten by Winterborn. They are animals. Not even the help of outsiders will save them from my wrath. Our magic you will never understand. To receive a Briarheart is a precious gift. To receive one while I'm still alive, that is a singular honor. The Hag Ravens give us these gifts, even as they care for the tree upon which the sacred fruit grows. What a terrible enemy you are. You don't even know about the source of your own doom. I would feel sorry for you, but instead I just want to kill you even faster. Of course I know about the tree. It gives the sacred fruit life. It is strong, powerful, eternal. It cannot be destroyed. It hates you, you know. 
because you burn its babies. I will kill you for doing that too, once I get my Briar Heart. You think you can destroy our eternal tree with fire and axes? Bah! Your tools are useless! The tree's roots run strong and deep. But please, feel free to give it a try. The Hag Ravens will eat your eyes and use your body for fertilizer. you maybe might have seen Alanon on your way back maybe listen it wasn't my fault Alanon sent me to get him some moss that grows on the walls down here when I got back the alchemist was gone right that's an excellent plan but you should take this Alanon said it was the last ingredient he needed to finish his elixir I don't see his alchemy bag so he must have the rest of the components with him. If the tree hasn't eaten them yet. What? No, of course not. At least, I don't think it ate him. But he told me that the Winterborn plant Briarheart seeds in dead bodies. The seed eats the body, sprouts roots, and nourishes the tree. Or something like that. I wasn't really listening. Well, I went that way to gather the moss, so he must have gone the other way. Probably turn right at the bend ahead. Let's split up. We can cover more ground that way. Besides, I kind of feel it's my fault since I left him alone and all that. you got here, do something before I roast up here! Don't just stand there and watch me roast! Do something! What am I doing? I'm being roasted alive! What does it look like I'm doing? What's worse, they have my alchemy bag. The elixir was nearly complete when I... stumbled into that Winterborn patrol. No, no. We're running out of time, and you have a more important task to complete. You have to destroy the central tree. Otherwise, the Briarheart warriors will eventually overrun the orcs. I'll... I'll find a way out of here... somehow. Find the Hagraven that snatched my alchemy bag and grab the elixir. I couldn't wait for Evelie, so I found the moss on my own. 
course, that's when I ran into the Winterborn. Anyway, get the elixir and destroy that tree. Finish this for me. There you are. I was looking all over for... Hey, how'd Alanon get up there? That doesn't look very safe. We should get him out of there before he cooks, right? I'm not 100% certain, but I bet I could break the chain holding up the cage with a few well-placed arrows. Sure, sure. Don't worry. I've got this. You don't suppose the cage will shatter on impact, do you? No worries. I never hit anything I'm not aiming at. Well, except for that one time, but that totally doesn't count. I told Bompor not to move. Go on. I'll take good care of the alchemist. Hey, Alanon! I need you to stay very, very still so I can get you down. With a bow and arrow? The cage will drop into the fire with me inside. Just make sure you tuck and roll. the tree. The Winterborn are on their way. Defend the tree until the elixir does its work. Just don't let the Winterborn get close enough to heal it. No! Stop the intruders! The tree must not be destroyed!
I just need to catch my breath. I'll be fine. They tried to roast you. That's not how we define fine where I come from. Compared to some of my adventures, this was practically a day at the fair. The wood elf got me out of that cage with a damn fine strike. Damn fine. And you, you handled the Briarheart tree perfectly. Well done. Indubitably. I watched the roots burn with my own eyes. The siege commander needs to hear about this, so we could press the advantage and put an end to the Winterborn threat. As for me, I'm going to relax. Somewhere in Orsinium with a very large drink. You have your report, soldier. Return to the siege commander, and let's finish off these Winterborn bastards. <laughs>